Welcome to Electron Line, and here's our third example of how to deal with relative velocity. So in this case, we have a stationary reference frame with observer A. We have a moving reference frame, which is moving at 0.6c relative to the stationary reference frame with observer B. And we have an event that's moving at 0.9c relative to observer B. So we have to define what u is equal to, what v is equal to, and v prime. And, of course, since we are looking since we know what the velocity of the vent is relative to observer B, we want to know the velocity as seen by observer A. So let's just call it V sub A. So is that U, V, V prime? Let's find out. Well, first of all, the velocity of the reference frame that's moving relative to the reference frame that's stationary, that would then be the velocity U. So in this case, we can say that U is equal to 0.6 C. Now, by definition, the velocity of the event as seen by the moving reference frame is V prime, so therefore we can call this V prime. V prime is equal to 0.9c, which means that V sub A would simply be V because that's the velocity as seen by the stationary observer, which of course is the observer in the stationary reference frame, which of course, by the way, is observer A. So V and V sub A is the same thing. So now we need to find the form of the equation that helps us solve for V. That would be the top form right there. So V is equal to V prime plus U divided by 1 plus V prime U over C squared. That means that V is equal to V prime. V prime is 0.9C plus U, which is 0.6C divided by 1 plus V prime which is 0.9c times u, 0.6c, all divided by c squared. And right away we can see that these c's cancel out with this c squared, so this becomes v is equal to 1.5c divided by 1 plus 0.9 times 0.6 is 0.54. Notice again that the numerator is a number bigger than c because that would be the what we call the Galilean transformation. If we do not take into account the relativistic changes, then the velocity would seem to be 1.5c. But notice that the denominator is bigger than 1.5, so therefore the fraction will be less than c, which is what, what we would expect. So this is 1.5c divided by 1.54. And that will tell us the velocity of the event as seen by the stationary observer. So 1.5 divided by 1.54. And that is 0 0.974. So 0 0.974 C. And that is the velocity. 0 0.974 C. That is the velocity of the event as seen by the stationary observer. It would be faster than as seen by the moving observer, but it can never be greater than C, and that makes sense when we see the result. And that's how we do that.